Quick disclaimer before this video begins, if you're looking for a point to this video, there is no point. If you're looking to learn something from this video, you won't learn anything. That is all. Hi, how are you? Are you good? Brilliant. So today we have this. This is a speaker. Logitech. Logitech. 10 inches. And I don't know if you can see some of these, but there are also paw prints on this. So Pancake and Peanut have been having fun walking around on this. So anyway, what I'm gonna do with this is, first of all, I'm gonna take this grill off. If you actually wanna take this grill off, if you have one of these, what you've gotta do is get a screwdriver and sort of wedge it in there and then lever it out. So this, I've already done that too, and I should be able to take it out. Um, I just need to put my camera down. Okay, so the camera's down and, well, it's not down, I'm just not holding it. So what you do with the screwdriver is stick it into the corner like this and then gradually it will come off. And that's how I took mine off. Okay, so there we are, this is a sub and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this sub out and I'm gonna make sure that the wires connecting this to the amp, which is on the back of the box, is actually connected to the speaker because at some point or other I disconnected that to experiment with the sub. Before I do that though, I'm just gonna give this a quick wipe. Okay, so here we are, on the floor. Well, we're not on the, we're stood on the floor, this is on the floor. I don't know why I put it on my desk, but I'm gonna take this speaker out now. How many screws are there? One, two, three, four. So there's eight screws here. In one of the previous videos, I said that I only use my electric screwdriver when there is a big job that needs doing. I wouldn't really class this as a big job, but there is more than four small screwdrivers. Screws. So because of that, I'm gonna use this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, so because it's difficult to take this out without... Okay, so it's kind of difficult to take this out like that, so I'm going to just tip the box, and there we have it. And... So yeah, it's not connected to the amp. For some reason, I can't seem to find a speaker wire that's connected to the amp. Ah, I think I found it. It's right at the bottom. There we have it. That is the speaker wire connected to the amp. So, I'm going to need to re-solder this. Great! Okay, so rather than pull out the soldering iron, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to strip back some of this insulation. Like this. And then, I'm just going to wrap this around there. Because I can't be bothered. And there we go, that'll be good enough. And now what I'll do is I'll get some insulation tape and wrap it around there so we have no explosions. Sorted. And now I'm gonna put the speaker back in and we can carry on with the rest of this video the way it was meant to be carried on. And there we go, the speaker is back in. Okay, so this is all ready and wired up now. When I turned it on, what happened was there was a bit of smoke that came from it and um, we can actually see a bit of that smoke now and it's still coming from it. It kind of looks like it's coming from me, but it's not. If you look carefully, you might just about be able to see it. Okay, so I think it's stopped now, so um, it should be safe. Also, what I have attached to this, obviously, is this thing right here and this will control everything because it is a control panel now the only thing is we kind of seem to be missing something and i think i know what it is a brain no it's actually not a brain it's these two things then again it could be a brain if you're wondering what the point of this video is and when i'll get to it because down here you can skip to certain points in the video so you know use that yeah, so I thought I'd just add these satellites to the mix because, well, you know, they did come with it. There were three more, but I've uh, taken out the speakers and used them for other things. So yeah, I'm just going to connect these now and um, then we can see how loud this gets. All right, so we've arrived at a bit of a fork in the road and now we've got to decide on which is going to be plus and which is going to be negative. Uh, positive and negative, plus and minus. I think I'll just have this as a positive because that is the way the wire is falling and it seems to make most sense that way. So long as they match up on the speaker side, it doesn't matter. So that is a left channel and that is going to go into the one on the right. Guess why it's going to go into the one on the right. And now for the other channel. Okay, so on the back of this we have a bunch of connections, and these are them. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to connect one to this. That channel is for the front speakers, and now I'll turn it on. 
And I need to connect this side to something too. So this will go to... I was going to say my phone, but I think my phone's in the other room. Okay, so my phone was on the floor. I'm just going to connect it to this and then, I guess, try to find some copyright free music to play. Okay, so this right here is actually the next day because something came up and I had to do something else. Um, I didn't actually have to tend to anything. I got really high and that was about it. So yeah, where were we? We were here in this room with that right there and those. So um, what I'm going to do is play some music through this just because I can and I'm bored. And this is a video that results from that. So um, if you're maybe wanting to learn something from this video, like I said in the beginning of this video, you will not learn anything. And if you're looking for a point to this video, then there you go. There is a point I am pointing. Enjoy, take a screenshot and have a nice day. Goodbye. Stop it. And for everybody else, here we go. So I'm going to play a song by NCS. No copyright sounds. Check them out on YouTube. And um, the first track I'm going to play is this one right here. So let's begin. I don't know how much this sub is going to move. The settings I have it on are the sub volume level is about half and the volume level is going to be, let's set that to half as well, roughly half. Okay, so the phone volume is max and let's see how much movement we can get out of this sub. Okay, I'll be honest, I cut that short because there was barely any movement. Maybe we need to find another song. Hmm. But first, let's turn up the bass to about full. Okay, now let's see what happens. Okay, so there's really not that much going on. What I will do at some point is test this out at max volume. So if you want to check that out, then um, you're going to have to skip around in the video to find out where I do that, um, probably towards the end. And I don't really just want to play bass tracks because some of those are kind of boring and not copyright free. So there you go. That's my uh, reasoning for that. Also, I'd like to see how much bass gets sent through to these satellite speakers. So at some point or other, I'll probably turn the sub off and play these at max volume, which is going to be glorious for my ear holes. Yeah, let's find some more tracks and get some more bass sent through to this. Okay, so I'm just going to take these covers off of here now and uh, we'll see if these have any movement, which I really don't think they will, but we're going to have a look anyway because, well, why not? Okay, so this track right here is the one that is going to be playing. Okay, so there's virtually no movement coming from the satellite speakers, which is kind of surprising. I thought there'd be a little movement. Now what I'll do is I'll look for a, maybe a proper bass track. Okay, so the bass track I'm going to be using is on this channel, and that is the name of it. Bass Test, with a bunch of exclamation points. And yeah, I actually used this track on the PowerAd um, speaker, the Bluetooth speaker, the waterproof Bluetooth speaker. Why is my voice going up in pitch? So yeah, check it out if you want. It's a pretty decent bass test, I think. I'm not too sure, actually, actually. Why did I say actually twice just then? 
Okay, so that's ready, and now we'll test out the bass on this track. Hopefully it is something decent, and we don't get copyrighted for it. Okay, so once again, all the volume is full. These won't flex, but this will. Okay, so I've just turned that down, and that is because I could smell voice coil. Yes, always trust your nose, otherwise you will end up with no speakers left to play with. So yeah, I can smell it, it's quite strong, and I think I'll just leave this for now. Um, I think it's time to go eat something because I haven't eaten yet. Oh, and also my neighbour is at home. It's funny how the voice coil on this actually smells like my VHS camera that I have. That's kind of um, strange, but yeah. I just wanted to make this a quick video. Hopefully it's a quick video and um, it's probably not. Yes, and also I'll be doing something with these speakers pretty soon. So stay tuned for that. And um, this is the end of the speaker portion of this video. So you can click off now if all you came for was speakers. And here we have peanuts. Peanut, um, none of these cats sit still, so it's kind of hard to film them sometimes. And here we have pancake. What are you looking for, pancake? You looking for peanut? Peanut, what are you looking for? Are you looking for pancake? Pancake, you looking for peanut? Peanut, you are looking for pancake? Okay, so one of the cats just stood on the remote control for the TV and turned it on, which has never happened before. I don't watch television. Was it you, peanut? No, I'm guessing it was her. Okay, so I'm gonna make some food now and these two are gonna wanna eat it. But they're not gonna get any because they've been fed already. They've both done poos, so that's nice. There's a nice aroma in this room. All right there, so what I have here is this. And I'm gonna put some stuff on here and fry it. And these right here are what I'm frying up. And I have a feeling that Peanut wants some of these because he is right here. He can smell it, but that is the wrong side. That's where the sink is. What a weirdo. And here she comes. Changed her mind. All right, so when these are done, I'm gonna put them between some sandwiches and that will be it, I think. Um, I'll probably do four more of these, just finish off the pack. More speaker videos coming soon and possibly some random ones because I don't just make speaker videos. So yeah, um, Peanut is gonna say goodbye. Say goodbye, Peanut. Okay, maybe not. So yeah, that is all for now, and I will see you next time. Not too sure where it was or how they found it, but this is catnip. And here we have peanut and pancake. I was wondering where it was because it doesn't look like catnip. It was in a packet, but it's actually soaking wet. And ew. So yeah. And it's all over the floor, as you can see. So they've been having a pretty good time, and now I'm gonna clean this up and then feed him. And he's been rolling around in it. I have a feeling that she is the one that found it. So yeah, nice surprise for the morning. Good on you. Now I'm gonna clean this up, and that is all.